Well, it's time to put the pedal to the metal, literally, on Garage Ed this week. We're talking about throttle position sensors. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now, what is the throttle position sensor? What does it do? How does it work? And what happens if it's not working? Well, it's right here, and it does exactly what it says it does. It measures where the throttle is. I have one right here. It's bolted to it, and it goes through the throttle linkage. And when the throttle linkage goes up and down, well, it sweeps with it. That's pretty cool, and it's sending a voltage back. If you look at this first graphic here, well, there's a five volt reference going to it, and then there's a return you can see on that line there. Whatever comes back is what the computer determines where the throttle is, and you have a ground. At wide open throttle, we're gonna be about four, five, four point five volts. Down at idle, we're gonna be down about the point five range. Now, the really cool part is I can actually show it to you in action. I got an oscilloscope hooked up here. So when I sweep it, you'll see the live electricity. This is really cool, so check this out. Brian Gregory, he got a new truck, and he drives pretty conservative, so I'm gonna open the throttle real slow there. He likes to take care of his stuff. Creep to the top, you see the five volts, and I let it down. Now, if he gave me his truck, it would look more like this, man. Whammo, wide open throttle and closed throttle. Well, what does that mean? Well, take a look at this second graphic. Perhaps you're going down the road and that signal falls out for a second. Well, there's that little hiccup or that burp you may feel. The computer may not catch it, but that oscilloscope sure will. And it's also cool, we got it on the scan tool over there. So what is the computer looking at? Well, he can't feel it. He doesn't know what's going on, but he does know voltage. So look at the voltage over there. As I sweep it, bam, it goes up. I let it go, it goes down. And anywhere in between, he knows exactly where the throttle is. Once again, it's all about that precise fuel delivery. Now, Brian's over there dealing with a drive-by wire. What's all that all about? Well, he's got an accelerator pedal position sensor and a throttle here. Now, the throttle's controlled electronically. I can push it and open it. That's what the computer would do. He'll open it up. How does he do that? Well, right here. You have your throttle position hardware out here, but you have an accelerator pedal position sensor up under the dash located on the pedal, no link. Kind of scary, you have no control over it. Don't worry, there's more fail safe built into that than with the cable. Brian's checking it out right now. Let's check in with him. Well, you're absolutely right, John, and this is a drive-by-wire system. Now, with everything out of the way here, you're getting a good look at the throttle body. I'll tell you what, technology and these moving pieces have come a long, long way and done a brilliant job in replacing the carburation process from years gone by. But a couple things matter here. Number one, the throttle plate itself. As you look inside the throat of the throttle body here, that home position of the plate is critical. It's critical for proper idle. It's critical so when you romp it to the floor, you're gonna go somewhere. Not that John does that very often. But you've gotta keep that clean so it's standing true. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You also want a good visual inspection of the connector. I like to put dielectric gel in there. It's a really good insulator. This is a very harsh environment up here. Just take care of everything. I'm gonna put this back on. We'll come back to that. And let's look at the throttle plate. So in here, what happens is a lot of vehicles, if you tip this back with your finger or a tool to get access to clean the backside, you've destroyed the home position and it's gotta be taken back to a dealer to get relearned. That's a big job, you don't wanna tackle that. So do your homework and understand if that's gonna happen on yours. So let me show you how to clean it. Very simple, get throttle body cleaner. You gotta have the right stuff. The wrong stuff is gonna damage components. Spray it in here and just wipe it down. Now, varnish and carbon build up over time, affecting that home position. Wipe it out. Another tool that works really well here is a toothbrush. You can get down around there. Now, I'm gonna tip this in and show you on the backside. I get it wet, saturated, and I'll take my rag and just work it up in there and see if I can find any varnish for you to come off. There you go, you got a little bit of dirt. All of that, believe it or not, makes a huge difference in the optimal balance of fuel and power for this type of application. All right, so this is good stuff. John and Tom, you got some more tech tips for us to make this job even easier. Tom, today we talked about that drive-by wire versus that cable. Now, as an old school technician, the throttle position sensor was a little sensor. I see that whole unit. I'm thinking dealer item only. No, it, it looks complex, but it's actually it can be easier to install than like running a cable to an old carburetor or something. It's, it can be a plug and play thing. And uh, go to rockauto.com, you'll be surprised to see we not only have uh, often the OE part, not at the crazy dealer prices, we'll have uh, other manufacturers often who have improved the parts, looking at what originally caused the OE part to fail. They made adjustments and used better connectors or whatever, and, and they last longer.
So we're looking at NTK, AC, Delco, and Standard. So I have the choice, I'm in control. I mean, one of them may be OEM, some may be an upgraded, a better model. Right, and often the OE stuff here has been upgraded too. The, the original manufacturer looked and said, okay, well, this is why it failed and, and their parts are upgraded also. Perfect, so just go on there and check them out. You know, we're wide open throttle throughout this whole show. Let's check in with Brian.